Green Works is an award-winning registered charity and social enterprise dedicated to radically changing the way society thinks about waste. Greenworks was started in 2000. It was something that I felt really passionately about, that people or organisations had nowhere to put the furniture that they were making redundant. And so we, and there wasn't really an answer to it apart from a very small amount of second-hand trade. So Greenworks set up to deal with second-hand or redundant furniture from businesses and schools and hotels. Working with physically and socially disadvantaged people in depots throughout the UK helps to achieve the twin goals of zero waste and support in the community. One of the key things that we do here is we employ a large number of, we employ and train a large number of disadvantaged people. So people who've had who've really struggled in the job market, particularly now, but throughout our existence, our, one of our primary objectives has been to help people who've been unemployed through giving them training here. What we'll do is we'll get them ready for work, so they will get an NVQ if they want to. They'll also get some in-house training as well, and they'll be able to bulk up their CV. So whereas before it may just be their education that's on there, and some of that is, is quite limited as well because they haven't all left school uh, with good qualifications. And we'll make sure that they get some form of accreditation. That might be through some IT training that we've got online with another company, or that might be through our training providers and give them an NVQ. When I first started with Greenworks, I was working as the volunteer coordinator, bringing in uh, volunteers, obviously in their placements, developing new sort of training materials for them, um, which was a unique experience for me. I hadn't worked in that sector before. Um, after three months of working on that, I asked to move into retail to gain further experience in different areas of the organisation. Um, I was put on a full-time contract as the team leader in retail um, and I've been there since. Before I worked at Greenworks I didn't have experience in uh, supervising or sort of team leading and uh, I've gained that here, being put in charge of a team, taking responsibility. Um, that's something I can take away with me to you know, another job. The main aim of Greenworks is to turn redundant office furniture into an asset and resource. The key service that Greenworks provides is the collection and reuse and reprocessing of redundant furniture, whether that's from offices, from schools or from hotels. The remanufacturing process all starts when the furniture is first unloaded. Um, any furniture which is beyond, beyond repair, shall we say, is, uh, is then categorised so we separate the tops, we separate the wooden panels. They then go to the remanufacturing site, which is uh, at the top of the warehouse. Um, in that area, we have um, some very traditional woodworking machines. We also have a CNC machine centre, uh, an edge bander. Um, from there, depending on what a customer specification is, we'll then cut the components to size, do any kind of machine that needs to be done. Um, and then from the waste material we produce, we will like, remanufacture a brand new desk which is fit for purpose and, and is as good as uh, a brand new desk, except the, the, the good point is it's 98% recycled. Greenworks was founded in 2000 by Colin Crooks, the CEO, with minimum resource, and has now grown into a two million pound charity with four franchises across the UK, providing great benefits to people and the environment around the world. The Greenworks was set up in 2000 and it was at that stage it was myself and a, a rented van and a, and a couple of volunteers helping me and we chugged around London and we collected furniture and we had desperate evenings trying to find homes for the furniture because clearly I had to hand the van back empty. Uh, that was a, you know, that's a precondition of renting it. Uh, but we gradually grew and we in 2001 we had a depot, a little depot that we could drop furniture off and start to sell from. And now, ten years later, We've got five depots across the country. We've got two in London, one in the East End, one here in Wembley. We've got one in Wolverhampton, we've got one in Bristol, and we've got one in Paisley near Glasgow. And we're hoping very soon to expand that to Manchester and perhaps even Leeds. And we've done that through working with some of the biggest companies in the country. So we've handled and redistributed furniture in huge quantities from people like HSBC, from Barclays, from Unilever, from BP, from Marks and Spencers, from EDF. Uh, very large organisations doing very large moves, that's been our speciality. But we've also handled 
enormous volumes of small uh, sort of, of furniture from smaller companies that might be, be disposing of a few desks at a time. But the, the basic ethos of Greenworks, the basic ethos of Greenworks is to take furniture from commercial organisations, from schools and from hotels and get it redistributed uh, from one of our depots across the country. One of the most important streams of Greenworks reuse strategy is the donation of the furniture overseas. Since 2003, Greenworks has dispatched 60 40 foot containers full of office, educational, and health furniture, all items considered to be waste in the UK. That equates to over 35,000 items, not just furniture, but including much needed things like carpet tiles and stationary items, all weighing close to 359 tonnes of furniture. Two of the organisations that have received furniture donated by Greenworks are the Grange in St Kitts in the Caribbean and ICT Colleges in Ghana. The Grange is a not-for-profit organisation, the first of its kind on the island, providing respite residential care for the elderly and their families. Using the four R's, Greenworks aims to reduce, reuse, remanufacture or recycle all unwanted office furniture, diverting it from landfill. The key objective of Greenworks is to stop this material, this redundant furniture, going to landfill and to push it up the waste hierarchy as far as we can. We, it, our preference will be to reuse it, to find another home for it, um, either in this country or abroad and that's the service we provide for our clients so we enable them to optimize the environmental value and the social value in the furniture that they no longer need. I think what I've seen um, about the contribution that Greenworks make to the Green Campaign, what I've seen here is very impressive indeed. My first interest is in elimination of waste and what they're doing in terms of uh, reusing and recycling is very impressive indeed in terms of uh, making sure that an awful lot of superfluous uh, office furniture does not go to landfill. But it goes wider than that because it's not just what they're doing in terms of waste, it's what they're doing as a social concern in terms of providing training opportunities uh, for a lot of people who've been having difficulties in the job market. It's what they're doing in terms of reducing carbon emissions. Um, as you've seen, they reckon in the 10 years they've been in operation, they've um, probably saved some 55,000 tonnes of CO2 being produced. Uh, going back to the training, they've pr provided 814, I think it is, training opportunity places for people over the years. Greenworks partners with other like-minded groups and charities to distribute these employment and social benefits nationwide. One of our key offers, and uh, one of, uh, as a registered charity, one of the key benefits we offer is low-cost, very low-cost equipment and furniture to other charities. We see ourselves as a sort of global resource, if you like, to other organisations, both in this country and in the developing world, to assist them with these absolutely basic needs that they need just to, just to operate. If you go to some of these small organisations, they'll have um, extensive medical records and personnel records, but will they have a lockable filing cabinet? Probably not. They'll have people working all sorts of hours on very low pay, sometimes just uh, volunteering, and they're sitting at a chair that's threadbare and broken, and they, it's not comfortable, and, and if they're working long hours, it could be quite bad for their back. So we're providing really essential often unnoticed but very important basic equipment at incredibly low cost, often donated to organisations that um, really don't have any money uh, but actually want to spend what money they have on helping their community. They don't want to spend it on buying furniture so that's our role is to provide that furniture at low cost to them so they can focus on the things that they're doing for their communities. Mm -hmm.